Eivor, good to see you. Good day. While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I must be on my way now. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. I have to go. Then go in peace. to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Glauchestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Glauchestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper. If only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Glowchester. You will find him there.
Surveying the area, Sudan. I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Avendin da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? If mama dad carried even gilder than Anun, Conan helped Drews me. Bridget man power the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on, but the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see that Eivor Gal Cleese Lown. Right, no daylight to waste then, eh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. Drunk and hmm. poor, McAlbon! And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? 
I am here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated godright kings for puppet rulers? I am here as a friend to Gunnar. I do not like to make enemies when breaking bread, so tread careful, boy. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? <sighs> ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowen. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then... By my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sour. Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, Kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety! Find somewhere to hide! Where did they come from? Velvet swine!
was close. Bled out. Cuts all over the thighs and stomach. I've seen wild boars do this before. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrines in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. Feast in Valhalla, warrior. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were casted by a group of boars. Odd, but path and I usually serve. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunin, and that spat cuck Tefter lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskalan Vela Sprudjan and Creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Lubed, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. 
I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I heard your voice clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. Bad house. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open veil. Hope to God this Mary Lewitt doesn't fail. Ah, oh, have a cake for your troubles then. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to... Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Louis. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mary Louis haunts my door. Give me sweets and candied treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. Ah, uh, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. Mighty warrior, knocker of doors, victor of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is really good? Good. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes! Sweet as honey, Gunnar! You should see this! Gunnar! My cakes! Stretch your wings, Sunan. What the fuck did you say to me? No, no. I said, cloth is, take your fuck and so piss off back to your shit. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. <laughs> You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, I'm tall. Time has come for you! It's you lot we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowerchester? They know how to have fun.
going on? Enough! Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a gumpas to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes elder men. Fifteen of all. Regardless of poisir poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love. Go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I'll give me strength. But my modern is known on a humor towish gatran. I'm glad you're all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modern, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwillem. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Abbey, babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearths and humid eyes, it is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Chester is at stake. I will not leave these lands to one who laps at ale like a cat. Drink! 
Good effort, Tevdar. <laughs> this merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. Your people are loyal to you, Kunan. Seems a waste to throw your life away. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. A toast, then. To Elderman Kunan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. Weak. What is this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you had the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills. And the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Hey, Voss, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> How nice is that? Nice enough to tell you that you are wrong for the Elderman's seat. Maybe you are correct. I wanted to be a cardinal. But the men who raised me said I'd serve God better as an Elderman. You are your own man, not theirs. The only ones you should be serving are your people. Tefter. With Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah. The greatest, greatest oath. And the greatest union. To the oath. The treaty. The greatest. Sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here.
Hefter, where are you? Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ugh. And the effects of that draft still cling. Defter, are you here? Hefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefter's. If he was the heavy thing being dragged. Muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! the meaning of this blood soaking our soil and your weapon coated in the same kunan please more has happened here than you can see give me a right to parley my innocence i should have heeded tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests and now he has paid with his life with tevder gone glowachester will be without an elderman eye for an eye your raven clan will lose their chieftain get the murderer Shouldn't be seen here. The hood should work. Hands tacky with old blood from the new king. Root and best to lie low.
wonder if it still has a little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tepper. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. Business. Poor lad. I came as soon as I heard. Have a look, Sudan. There's Mother up ahead. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halliwin. Yes. Halewin's cabin is on a lake, near where the Cherwell and Great Oust rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
Show me what lies ahead. That must be the home of the druid. The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Spirit, you have finally come. Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Aelwyn said that the Wickerman must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. we 
Ackerman speak. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. See, he's in Let there be cacophony! One more! One more! Speak to me, O oh wind. I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which charm protects from evil spirits? Which charm protects from evil spirits? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. This dagger is placed upside down. This dagger is placed upside down. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets.
Wen's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. being carved into shields and headstones. <laughs> Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Sabrina watches me from the water below. speak to Eivor, but perhaps he will speak to the spirit of the Mary Luid. Speak to me, O oh wind! Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic nut wards of harm. A secure nut indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. Tell me, O oh being of air and light, which is the charm you would use to leave the past behind? The Atome dagger cuts our ties with the past. The upturned blade. Things can be reversed. You know this charm. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The Skull Souls charm. Summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion I speak to druids long dead. But of course you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep, I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodrin. Kud Lodrin? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Kuth Latran. Strange name. Meanwhile, Motran awaits me at the stones nearby.
can see Modron ahead. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodron, name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Lodron is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. This forest and all of Glowerchestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Yeah! Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch. Open to wisdom from the guards. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Ludron, the Thieves Warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Attack on sight here.
to the others! Must be where Guilim is hiding.
Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Coonan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit, sales haunt you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Kunan is meeting his end in the Wicker Man at the end of the Samhain celebrations. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to lie, having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing to... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up, wake up! Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow! Ah, move, fool! Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. The slaughter been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. A good heart. Thank you. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. The scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. <laughs> He's hot to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevder to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I'll gut him. Death and dishonor is the punishment he deserves. All legacy destroyed. Kunan may be ill and aged, but his sword arm is strong. He'll kill you first if you let him. Do not let him. My blade is imbued with the blood of guards and armies. I fear not a single coward. You are resolute, then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end.
must find Kunan before I'm spotted. The Longhouse is a good place to start. Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. Bridget, I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it in all, and got... It's you again! The Sowen Butcher! The Sowen Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival, and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um... Okay, so reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. Now I really need to find Kunan. Come on, let's go find him. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hen. Please don't have to go flim. My priority speed depends on Rachib. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hen. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It's important. You're lost, Butcher. It's Avon. <laughs> Why? I would know more about you, Gwyneth. You are certainly an odd little bird. Mother says there'll be no one like me in the whole of creation. From the dawn of dust to the end of sorrows. Your mother trusts you, that you run about on your own. She spends the holiday blessing hermits in old rocks. What fun is that? And your father, Gwyneth? Where is he? Well, it's not to be spoken of, but I was born from the union of my mother with the horned king of the forest, Genunos. You are close with Bridget? She's like a big sister. But it's not like I'm going to get to see her much anymore, once she leaves with you and Gunnar. How do you spend your days, Gwyneth? Collecting dead things for Mama's spells. I have quite a collection. Birds, mice, um, beetles, and I dance, and I can talk to cats. I should find Kunan. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That's a badger. All the festival late. Have you seen Elderman Kunin? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunon has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in, only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key was held by someone named Geva. I must find her. Have 
you seen Coonan? Hey, it's the Mary Ruin. Ride with me, Mary Ruin. On Samhain night, all out to flight, some to... Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I've messed up the rhyme. The man tries to rhyme with all his might. <laughs> Didn't take much to outwit me. <laughs> You're really good. Good enough for a reward. Many thanks. Enjoy the festival. <laughs> the Marilud! Oh, goodness, you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I'm looking for Kunan. Right! Right, yes, he's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. Um, what does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck and happy Samhain! Geva's waiting for this little girl to the church. That's how I am. Calcia menta mihi mundus es satis raro sedate silpiorum ambulare in Right. Ah, the crate. Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Snake tongue. Eivor! Hey, <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the wicker man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? In an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... 
You and Mudran. Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Then make your peace with God, Britain. For shitting on my name and drugging me is an offense I kill for. I'm to be dead within the Wicker Man by Samhain's end. I beg you, let me die for my people. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenevere, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. <laughs> See you, old friend. Wait a minute. No one. Get it away. 
Chanting. It's faint. But I recognize Morgan's voice. Now, some things are not right. to be careful here.
spit in blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade, or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats, but without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. Kunan is dead for your lives. Your wicker man will burn empty. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We're in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! Kunan was behind the attempt on your life. Modern brought you here. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares.
I have returned. Guna, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be your shared saga, but it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. <laughs> The burning of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people. So that they may prosper. But this is an empty platter for your gods. Hungry bellies are known to retaliate. None can take Kunon's place. And to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. But you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer turn my eye from anything. Alderman Tevder. Mother Modron. So you two will form an accord, heathens and Christkin, in an uneasy truce. The pagans of Gloucester are my people, just as the children of Christ are. And our alliance? Strong as iron. And someone I will never forget. Let the flame be set. May the crop be abundant. Eivor, the honor is yours. Praise!
Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glower Chestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. <laughs> 